Hello, and this is the JSMJ, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the UI selection table on the iPod Touch. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change the color of it. If you don't know what this is, I'm going to show you a little short demonstration of it. Now, basically, like when you tap on it, like when you want to select something, you see a little color. Um, second here. Like, let's say you want to basically like you select something and then you see the little color like when you first get your iPod touch and you select something you see blue well you see I have red I'm gonna change like I'm gonna teach you guys how to change that now in order to do this you're gonna need a jailbroken iPod touch and uh, you, you're gonna need Wonderboard installed from Cydia alright so that's the first thing the second thing we're gonna uh, do is you're gonna need to learn how to SSH into the iPod touch now I have iPhone box or well, iPhone box and uh, it's just a you just connect your iPod touch into the computer it's a non Wi-Fi connection where you can SSH now basically we're going to be using paint with this so let's just go ahead and get started on it so basically what we're going to do firstly is we're going to create us a folder just going to right click go to new Sorry about that. And name it whatever you like. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that's the basic part. And now inside of this folder, it's gonna um, make a new folder called. Now this is the important part. It has to be spelled just like this, or it's going to be incorrect. It won't work at all. Capital U, capital I, I, lowercase a, I mean M, A, G, E, S. So it will be capital U, capital I, capital I, lowercase M, A, G, E, S. And inside of this folder is where we're going to save our type. A file our creation now um, let's just go ahead and open up our paint tool and the first thing I want you to do when you open up your paint tool is go up here you probably can't see my camera is stupid but at the uh, tool of the paint go to image and go to attributes and put the width one the uh, width one and the height 43 and it will be as you see it would be like this all right so down here you just want to select your color or you can make a custom color uh let's see i'm going to get another color let's get black and make sure you select the brush tool and all you do then is you just color in that line the color that you chose just color in that line alright so once you color on that line just basically go into a file save as And uh, make sure we're saving the type as a PNG. And this is another important part. And basically, go ahead and just, you have to name the file this U I T A B L E um, S E L um, E E C T I O N. It will be UI table selection dot PNG. I will have it in the video description, lowercase, all of that. I have it in the description right now. I'm gonna run out of battery, so I gotta hurry up with this. And once you're done with that, basically go ahead and drag this into our folder that we created. And once you drag it up into that, you drag it into the UI images. 
and we can just close that out. Now we have to SSH into our iPod Touch. Basically, open up how you SSH. I'm using our phone box. So you select your device, and then you go to raw file system, then you go to var, then you go to stash, then your themes folder, and this is where you drop your theme. The folder that you made, go ahead and drop it into there. Alright, so my folder's right there. That's basically come into our iPod Touch, go to Winterboard, and select all the things that you might. Alright, so let it respring. Alright, so now how you can test this out, you can basically go to City or something. I'm just going to go to the App Store so I can show you that my thing is now black. My UI thing is now black. As you see, the code that I selected now is now black, it's not red anymore. So that's your UI table selection, that's what I'm talking about. I have all the instructions into my link. That, um, and all of that. Well, I'm the Jason J, I'll be back with more guys.